Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Doctor here, welcome back to this episode of Star Fox Adventures. I know you said final episode, but it's not the final episode at all. Yeah, when we've done Dark Ice Mines, that's the game complete. The planet comes back together, everyone is magically saved, and Fox and Crystal go and have crazy fox sex. Anyway, ignoring my vulgarity, let's climb up this ladder and do one of the another very irritating part of this game. This is another mechanic the game really likes to use. I call it that fuel barrel. This is that fuel barrel. No, oh, there it goes. Do it again. <laughs> you have to carry this fuel barrel through a large portion of the level. Fortunately, the, the pattern that these barrels take is predictable. Um, oh, but you can see how this gets slightly annoying. Because um, you have to carry that fuel barrel all the way to the top. And then protect it some more once you're up there. Left. And let's stay left. Now we go right. Doesn't help that this is on a angle and I can't fully control the camera like you can because C-Stick does the menu you can use L to center the camera behind you like in a Zelda game but you can't actually move the camera with the C-Stick oh no I thought I had it there let's try that again oh oh god it's not a good start is it oh, so I'm actually gonna die from this this bit uh, I say it used to call me cause me grief as a child but it still causes me grief now as a full-grown adult so it's one of those bits where I kind of, it's like the secret levels in Mario Sunshine. I played the game as a child, hated it, hated these bits specifically, and then I was like, oh, it must just be because I was a child and terrible at games, I bet it's easy now. Come back, play again. I'm like, nope, this is actually still fucking hard. Um, and, oh, we're nearly there now, we're nearly there. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Jesus, jumped up and played the fiddle. That scared the crap out of me. Right. That pad is a unique thing in that it allows you to place a barrel down on it. Normally if you throw the barrel, the barrel just explodes. Because what we need to do now is climb up here. Leaving the barrel there, we'll come back for it later. Don't you worry. Oh, if you thought we were done with that fuel barrel. <laughs> we're not. There's a lot... Hey! Bitch is shooting at me. I swear, if they hit me and destroy my barrel, I'm going to kill them. Because what we need to do is... See that little suctiony thing? Activate! It goes all the way down to the bottom, over to the barrel, and then goes... Boom. And comes back up. <clears throat> and comes back up. Thank you. And now we collect that fuel barrel again. And continue on with our journey. Can't stay still for too long as well, otherwise we get shot um, by the fucker in the cannon. And I don't want to be staying still here, I'm in cannon range! Oh god, that flew right in front of the screen and scared the poo out of me. Oh, this has been such a nerve-wracking episode already. I hate that fuel barrel and everything it stands for, but we're nearly done with it now, because all we need to do is throw it at this crack! Fuck, I've missed! No, I've hit it. Oh, oh, it's been a scary, scary episode. Do 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 That can only be good. That's back at the top of the spirally barrelly slope. So, let's return there. I love that little sound effect. This is like the only time in the game you hear that. There's a slightly different variation on the do 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 doom. You've done well sounds. Okay, so that fuel barrel was relatively straightforward. Normally, it's like if it gets destroyed while you're up there because you're under the fire, you have to bring it all the way up the spiral staircase again, and that takes ages. At least it does for me because I suck at it. But now, yes, this bridge is open, so we can go onto this barrel run. Shit. Do you have to go up or down? I'm going to go up. <laughs> I can't remember which way it is. Uh, let's see. I think it is up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're fine. We're fine. I'm just freaking out about nothing. As ever. It's been a freaky outy episode for me. Yeah, we had to go down. I'm an idiot. Oh, that's the early bit of the barrel run. The bit we were on... Not the barrel run. The boulder run. Uh, Ow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just as I get into the good bit of the music. Uh, well, the Indiana Jones music, this this is all good music in this game. It's never not the good bit of the music. I'm going to not make sure I don't run into that again. Yes, this is where we needed to go. There's another switch. Do 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 do. And we'll never hear that sound effect in the game again, ever. Actually, no, we will. I think we hear it twice more in Dark Ice Mines again, and that's it. But we're nearly at the end of Dark Ice Mines. Um, I'm getting through it relatively quickly, actually. Like, I'm not rushing through it or anything like that. I'm just not fucking up that much. I thought this was going to take me to like episode 10 to beat Dark Ice Mines, whereas I should be able to do it this episode. The reason I said should in a weird voice like that is because I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to kind of... Ah! Jinx uh, it too much. I knew I was going to get hit by one of those barrels eventually. But now... There. Nope. Yeah. I have to run on the other end of the barrel. Barrel? Ladder. Um, I guess the ladders can only be climbed from one side, of course. Now we need to... Hey! Don't shoot me, you whore. 
We need to find where that bridge was. It was here. And uh, now we can climb up here. I love this area. It looks really cool because there's just so much kind of like... It's a massive cave system with all these ladders and barrels and shit like that. It looks really cool. Ah, you. You're the one who's been causing so much problem for us. So you're the one who's been playing games with my army. Ah. That's another obscure reference. Right, now if you look carefully, you'll see there's an X on that pillar. And an X on that pillar. Inexplicably, destroying them with a the cannon... ...causes a lava bridge thing to appear! Nintendo logic! And I thought it did that sound effect, but it doesn't, so no, we do never hear that again. But destroying both... ...bring up both chunks of the bridge! And that's where we need to go! So, that's awesome, I guess. Uh, can I just... Yeah, let's take the shortcut down. Okay, let's not take the shortcut down then. I lied. Three, two, one, shortcut! Oh, that was really anticlimactic. Whee! And face plants! Oh, God, it rumbles really hard when you take a hard fall like that. I feel bad now. I hurt myself. Anyway, so this is the lava bridge we just opened. Teleporter, you say. First things first, let's load that up. And let's go! Brrrr zap. I say brrrr zap a lot. I've noticed that. <laughs> Editing my own stuff. Boss Galdon, you say? Let's do that then. Hello, boss. He's frozen, though. So, if you look carefully... Not sure why I collected those grub tubs. Force of habits. If you look carefully... <coughs> wrong bloody angle, wasn't it? Nice one, Doctor. If you look carefully, he's got the spell stone. So, use flame on him, and then Tricky will also repeat. Wait for it. He's got the spell stone. There we go. Oh, nom 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 nom. Ow. Yeah, he's an ugly looking bastard, his boss geld on. Wait for it. He makes some fantastic noises, too. He's a really weird looking thing, though, because from the front he looks kind of like a dinosaur. But what we haven't seen yet, and we only see when we actually start the boss fight with him, is he's got four legs and a big tail at the back, which looks really weird. But what we have to do is... There is some different ways of doing it. I like to get Tricky to stay, and then he focuses on Tricky. And I feel really bad for it, but then we can get behind him and do some damage to him by hitting on his ass. Eh. Nope. Oh, he's trying to ground pound me and it's working. Go on, die, 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 die. Yeah, there we go. And that's it, just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated our first boss of Star Fox Adventures. Oh! Oh, bugger. But that's not the end. Ha ha ha, I'm so funny. Where would Nintendo be were it not for inside the boss gimmicks? So, there's the actual spellstone stuck in what appears to be his uvula. And now, we've done a bit of damage to it. And then, yeah, you know what's coming next. There are only two main exits out of a animal, and we took the better exit, I think. <laughs> um, but now, if you look at him again, you see how he's got that scar on his chest? Oh, I said that just as the camera switched to him as well. Now, oh! Now we need to focus on that, and just dodge his attacks. He says, rolling straight into his attack, and he'll soon enough charge his special attack, which will involve... Nope, that's not his special attack. I lied. Oh, come on, man. Uh, da -dee -dee -dee. Oh god. Nope. Come on. I'll show the nice people your special attack. Oh my good god. When you're ready, sunshine. Yeah! Fire a couple of shots into it, and that'll deal some damage to him. Now I need to go and find some actual staff juice. Where's the juiceometer? The juiceometer is here. Excellent. Die. Awesome. Oh no, he's shooting more green, green, green. That's a lot of green. Um. And now we just need to continue waiting for him to do that. I used to really struggle with this as well, just because I didn't know what to do. I would just keep firing the fire blaster at it now, like when when you're pointing at it, not realizing it had to be open, and would just burn through like all the magic they give you, and then just be, just being like, I don't understand what I am doing wrong. Because in fairness, he... There we go. You do have to wait a long time between opportunities to hit him. Um, so as a wee child that I was... As I say, this came out 12 years ago, so I was like, what, 
2010 when this came out. Um, okay, so not as weird as I, <laughs> I should have been slightly cleverer than that, but I wasn't a bright child, let's admit. Oh god, just can you just open your chest for me, please? Come on. Nope. Don't spit green at me. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Nope, that's too low. Yeah, I could totally be the Thorntail shop man. Oh no. Oh, he's doing a surprising amount of damage to me. Hey! Om nom 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 no. I wonder what's gonna happen here, Nom. Yeah, that's a new one. Guess what we do here? This looks oddly familiar. He's clearly not learnt. It'd be easier if he would just kind of... He might do better if he just beat us up rather than like swallowing us. He must learn eventually that isn't going well for him. And we've dissolved his uvula and got our first spellstone. But yes. Oh no. Yeah. Think of it this way, folks. At least you're taking the express elevator out rather than the kind of... I don't even want to think of a metaphor for the lower exit. But yeah, that was the Galdon that we were warned about ages ago. So, that's kind of cool. We've defeated our first real boss. Yay! And pretty soon... Yeah, he's definitely dead. He's just making some weird gurgling noises. I was just making sure he's dead before I... Oh, and the boss music starts again and then stops again. Uh, which is weird. Oh, you must forgive your father. You must work together to lead the Snowhorn tribe against Scales instead of fighting each other. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people shall no longer live as slaves. Let okay. my people go. We'll see you soon. We gotta take this spellstone back to the planet. Let's play! Yeah, I love how he says that when I'm doing a Let's Play. That's awesome. So you'll notice on the top now we have four foxes, uh, which means you can take a bit more damage. Which is awesome, and we also have a our first spellstone, which, as Fox rightly said in that cutscene, has to be returned to the Volcano Force Point Temple. So, let's go and do that. I will cut straight to being on the planet. Well, I'll just watch me fleeing Dark Eyes Mines because it looks kind of cool. It's slightly sad, we can never go back to Dark Eyes Mines though. If we land there again, we can only just go around that landing bit, that's it, you can't even get to the icy bit. It's sad. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, now I'll see you on the planet. Hooray! We're on our way back to the planet. I've started talking again here because I'm about to show you my score that I got. Yeah! 11,020 with all 10 rings. Slightly better. There'll be a number of times we have to do that return to dinosaur planet, so every time I do it, I will keep my own score. There's a Thorntail running up to us. That can't be good. There are a lot of different shots of the Arwing landing as well. Guess it looks kind of cool though. Boink! Right, what does this Sharp Claw want? Sharp Claw? Thorntail. You got to help us! Those Arvel Sharp Claws put out our lovely beacons, and it gets too dark at night. We be scared of the dark. <laughs> okay, okay, stop crying. I'll see what I can do. Don't forget about the Spellstone, Fox. You have to return it to the first point seven. We've been told that about a billion times now, but anyway. Um... So, some of the horrible sharp claw will put out our beacons. So I need to put them back on again. So let's hit this tree. I'm not just being crazy. There is a point to it because you get. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Set on fire is what you get. No, you get fire weed, um, which is a strange concept, but it may come in useful to help the thorn tails. Let's pick up some more fire weed while we're here. Eh, eh. Come on. Come on. Eh. Come on, yeah, there we go. You have to s hit the tree to knock them off, and then also hit the tree to hit the weed to disfire it before you can actually pick it up and use it. Uh, and it's really difficult to do because, of course, you stop to attack. Come on. Nope, 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 yeah. Right, I think we only need four, and I've got four. So, 
No, I've got three, apparently. Apparently you can only hold three. That's annoying. Go away, laughing bird. No one wants you here. Who let you back in? Hey! Tricky! Set it on fire. Burn. That's one. There are four in total. And let's see if I can actually remember where they all are. Because <laughs> I can't remember where the fourth one is. Um, eh. Eh, yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Eh. Nope. Eh. Yeah, there we go. There's definitely one down here. Um, and there's definitely one up by the warp stone. And the fourth one, I think, might be on the other end. Let's see. Go away, go away. To, oh, nope, 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 yep. Not been down here before. Um, because there's no reason to be down here. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so it's not down there, the other one. Um, that's where Moon Mountain Pass is, which is what they said we need to go through in order to get the fourth point temple. But you're not supposed to know that yet, so pretend I didn't say that. Ha 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 ha. Spoilers. Shit, where the hell is the other? Oh, I'm remembering things now. I'm reviewing the situation. Must not sing, must not sing, must not sing. Right. Okay. Come on, Doctor. Get your shit together. I know where I'm going now. I think. How much time have I got left? Uh, five minutes. Got ages. Oh, no. Must not jump that way. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yee. Maybe there are only three, then. Maybe I'm just being a derp. Let's heal a little bit. Ooh, a puck puck egg. Awesome. And yeah, hidden somewhere in these bushes is a switch. Which opens that fence down there. Oh, I landed on a mushroom. Not good. Um, yeah, there's one down here. Hup. Maybe there are only three, which would explain why you can only carry three fireweeds. No, not stay. Set it on fire, bitch. And then lick my balls. Nope. Lick my balls. There we go. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Never gets old. And I think, yeah, the... There's definitely one up by the warp stone, and I think then that must be the final one. Okay, this is much easier than I remember it being. It's night time as well, and I don't care. It seems like there should be a time limit on this. Because there's later bits which where you have to save the fawn tails again, which are timed. But weirdly enough, this bit isn't. So they're like, we're scared of the dark, and then the dark falls, and apparently they're fine. Well, they're probably quaking with terror, but that ain't my concern. Fireweed. What are you looking at, warp stone? Who do you think you are? Actually, he looks really fucking scary from this angle. Ah, oh, it is only three. The beacons mean so much to my tribe. Please take this. I believe it will help you on your quest. Hooray! It's a thing. This is the Moon Pass Key. It will allow you to open the gateway way that leads to the Volcano Force Point Temple. Anyway, on that note, I have been the Doctor with the Infamous Gentleman. That's the end of the episode. In this episode, we defeated the mighty boss Geldon of Dark Ocean Mines and obtained, as you can see at the top of our screen, our first spellstone. Yay, we're getting somewhere with the plot. Um, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Doctor with the Infamous Gentleman, and this has been Star Fox Adventures. I hope you'll join me next time for our journey through Moon Mountain Pass and the Volcano Force Point Temple. Speaking really fast. Good day.